Hey guys and welcome back to some more Haven and Hearth and tutorial time. And today we're going to talk about the most time consuming process in the game which is making steel. Now to begin making steel you need to have a kiln. And a kiln is a construction made entirely out of clay and 45 units of it. It needs to be a 3x3 three three paved area to place it. And from the kiln, you will be able to make bricks and charcoal, which will be needed in the steel production. Next one coming up is the ore smelter, which requires 45 bricks and also a 3x3 three three paved area for placement. Now, of course, steel is made from iron, so uh, you will also have to uh, refine the cast iron that you get from your iron ore and you do that in the finery forge which requires 30 bricks and 5 cast iron to make and a 1x1 one one paved area for the for denying it to uh, deteriorate over time now once you get the finery forge you will be able to, um, well, refine iron into wrought iron, but to do that you also need a um, anvil, which requires bronze, iron or steel. And of course you can't get um, steel without iron, so you either want bronze or iron to make an anvil and requires five of it. And of course you need the um, smith hammer of course to make the wrought iron from the bloom which you get from the finery forge. Now when you get the wrought iron and you want to make steel you need to place that inside a steel crucible. And as you can see, a steel crucible is 10 bricks, 1 cast iron, and a 1x1 one one paid area. And now comes the fun part. Every crucible will give you the option to make two steel bars at the same time. You also need one charcoal per steel bar you want to create. And of course, the higher quality, the better. Now, what is so time consuming about this? Well, the second you um, place your iron and your charcoal in there and fill this thing up with fuel, a filled up steel crucible will last about 12 hours something along those minutes and seconds and all that but uh, that's not all it takes 56 hours for the wrought iron to become steel so you will have to uh, refuel the uh, crucibles a lot so that's what we're gonna do right now I'm gonna go outside and camera because it messes up my screen and you can see I have three here ready and we're gonna start them right away and you can see the uh, indication that there's a small black smoke cloud coming out of them that means they are operational now the best kind of fuel according to me is um, wooden boards as you can use a bone saw to really boost the quality and you can see all these construction signposts that those are for barrels and one of these holds five boards each so I will be able to sustain this hopefully for the whole time if not well then it's kinda sucky for me now if you for some reason forgets to refuel them 
you won't of course lose the iron but you will lose the charcoal so hopefully you won't mess this up but there will be coming back here every time I will uh, refuel it so and I will let the clock tick so I will be back each and every time just for a quick view and then we'll see the final product when it's done and tick tock tick tock says the clock it's been um, eight hours since we last visited and um, as you can see the fuel has burned up so let's fill them up once again and you will of course have to do this um, about every 11 hours I use do um, I do six hours just to be or eight hours just to be safe so I don't you know screw it up so this has been eight hours there's a couple more hours to go and we'll be back next time for the refueling so see you then and once again we are back it's been another eight hours so the clock is ticking we need to refill the crucibles before they run out of course and as you can see the progress is going along at 29 percent ready and that is at 16 hours so um, a couple more hours has to pass before our steel is completed but we'll be back in another eight hours and hopefully nothing bad has happened until then and it's been another eight hours and we're filling up the crucibles yet again with more fuel and as you can see it takes a lot of uh, planks to get these babies done so, 16 hours has passed. Ah, uh, just a couple more hours, right? No, not really. It's more than double the time left. We're only at 43%, so, um, a little bit then, more than one and a half day, and will be there so we'll be back in another eight hours and once again another eight hours and it's starting to get a little bit early in the morning and this is the downside with making steel that you really have to plan when and where you're going to start your production but as you can see, we're getting really low on um, fuel, which is of course kind of bad, but uh, hopefully my trees should be um, growing back fast enough for us to get some more. But in the end, there's a couple more hours, let's say about uh, 24, so at least three more times that we need to refuel so be back in another eight hours and we're back for another refill and the good news now is that there's only one more refill after this one so only 16 hours left before we get our steel isn't that lovely now of course as you can see I'm having a lot of um, boards left which is of course really good and I did a little bit of math prior to recording this part and there are needed about 84 boards per crucible and that's a lot so yeah only one more time, 16 hours. I'll be back in another 8 hours, which would be in my time about 
one o'clock after midnight so I'll be right back and we're back for one last uh, refill now it's only eight hours until we got our steel woohoo so it's been now 48 hours and as you can see I'm going through my boards pretty fast but our steel is 86% done so hopefully this should do the trick so once again we'll be back in well I can back whenever because when I come back in eight or more hours I will have six bars of steel waiting for me and here we are 56 hours later and as you can see the smoke has disappeared so that means our steel is ready and as you can see quality 63 now that's the original quality of the iron bars that I put in here so they didn't uh, lose anything and that's because I put in such a high quality fuel now what determines the outcome of the quality for steel is the um, average between quality of the um, crucible the steel the coal that you put in and the fuel so it's a lot to remember but anyway now you know how to make steel and how time consuming it is so I hope this has been helpful and if it has please give this video a like subscribe and comment and I will see you in the next tutorial bye bye guys